The song was recorded entirely on this old piano that sat in the entryway of our studio in Venice Beach, where we wrote and recorded the album. It was a unique experience because the key bed of the piano had been removed, so all that was left were the strings and the soundboard. The four of us really wanted to make a song using what seemed to be an instrument that was no longer in any kind of working order. So we thought of some ways to make some tones that mimic the instruments in our own band. Johnny's guitar, Teddy's bass, Casey's keyboards, and my own drums. So I used my fist to make the bass sound of a kick drum and some hand slaps to resemble a snare drum. Then I grabbed some wire brush out of my stick bag and made some sounds on the tuning pegs that resemble the hi-hat. Then I sampled the strings in different registers, low to high. The piano isn't in tune with natural tuning, but it is in tune with itself. So we marked the strings we needed with tape and recorded them one at a time. After we got all the samples we needed, I built a sampler instrument out of them. And then I could perform each part on the keyboard, one register at a time. We then left the track with Johnny and he wrote some lyrics that touched upon the image of a yard sale. To us, that really captured the nature of the recording process, that one man's junk is another man's treasure. We titled the song Established in Baltimore, which came from the production stamp that we found on the piano that created all of the sounds in the song. For us, recording this song was a spur of the moment idea. It was one of the more fun nights that we had in the studio. And really, it was just a chance to make something out of nothing. 